Carter is here from the Best Friends Humane Society over in Worth County, and he is just so sweet. I had an under Miss Kelly Hall's <laughs> chair over here. Such a little sweetheart. Tell me about little Tardis here. Tardis has been with us about two months, Aww. which is sad because he's only about five or six months old. So oh he's been gosh. with us since he was a little guy and very timid, not sure what's going on here in the studio or in a car so, or anything. Because he's only really he's known only known. the shelter. Right. He, he doesn't know, you know, much of a home and he needs to... Aww. He's got a lot of love to give, though. He's very sweet. He's just a little shy this morning. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he's allowed to be. It's early. We're also kind of waking up a little bit, too. Uh, now, it looks like he's a lab. A lab mix, yeah. Okay. We're, he, maybe a little shepherd or something. He's got kind of a long snout, but mainly lab. But 100% <laughs> cute. Yeah. Oh, my definitely. goodness. It he, just I mean, he's, my heart. he's well behaved. He's not hyper. <laughs> sure, <laughs> absolutely you can see. not. Uh, just, just a lover. That's what he yeah, is. Yeah, he is. Now, he is going to get a little bit bigger. Yes, he's only about five or six months old, so he'll get, and especially with being a lab mix, you can figure it at least, you know, mm -hmm. he'll grow probably another 20 pounds and, sure. and get a little bit taller and bigger, but. But, but yeah. he is just all sweetness. Oh, my goodness. How does he get along with the other dogs there? Oh, he gets shelter? along great. He's a, he's a really good dog, which is why we wanted to bring him out. He gets sure. along with everybody. Oh, I just look at his little eyes. Oh, my gosh, it's melting my heart. <laughs> you are just such a sweetheart. Now, how did you get get little uh, Tatus here? He is a stray. Oh. So he was picked up by animal control and brought to the shelter as a puppy. What a and in need of a good home. Mm -hmm. How can someone come out there and adopt a little Tardis here? They can um, check us out on the internet or they can come out to the shelter itself. We're open from 1 to 6 during the week, 10 okay. to 3 on Saturdays. If those hours don't work, just give us a call. Somebody can arrange you know, to be out there if, if you can't make those hours. But uh, come out and see the dogs and if Tardis is the one for you, you know, fill out the application and start the process. Sounds good. Now they've got another little team up with some folks in New Jersey that mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about here in just a few minutes. And if you already have a dog, they've got a wonderful event coming up for you and your little furry friend for in April, I believe. April correct? 20th. We're yes. going to be talking about that coming up here in just a few minutes. For a little Tardis here. He's just making himself quite at home right now. I think <laughs> we might need a little weather dog. How does that sound, Tardis? He's like, I like that idea. I like it. It's a home. But again, we're talking all about little Tardis, hopefully finding him a good home. One more so. time real quick. He's part lab and maybe lab. something else. Yeah, he's a lab mix, about five to six months old. Oh, and has definitely been with you for about two months. Two months. So and that's a long time at a Needing shelter. a good home. Again, he will get a little bit bigger. Yeah, he'll get bigger. Probably still going to try and crawl in your lap, though. Yeah. <laughs> they usually do. The bigger they are, the more they want to sit in your lap. Of course, of course. But y'all are teaming up with an organization up in New Jersey. Right. I mean, here we are in South Georgia sending <laughs> dogs to New Jersey. How did that work together? Um, it's the Monmouth County, New Jersey SPCA, and we met them at an animal care expo at, uh, for the, the Humane Society of the United States. Wow. We met them there last year and kind of forged this partnership. And over three months, I think we've been able to send them 45 dogs. That's so so that's 45 dogs' lives saved. And they're hopefully going to be able to make it down all the way. We normally meet them in South Carolina, mm -hmm. but they're going to drive all the way down um, this month on the 12th, we believe, and take some of our dogs. So and excited. yeah, we're very excited to, to have them actually come up so everybody can meet them at the shelter. Sure. Because this is a kind of above and beyond your, your daily job. Oh. I mean, you do this on your own time. Yes, yeah. Uh, this is my, my second full time job. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You also got a big Bark in the Park event coming up. It's still a few months away, but it's going to be here before we know it. Right. Um, and it takes a lot of planning for this. So if you're interested um, in helping out with the planning or helping and volunteering for the event, just mm -hmm. let us know. We need vendors. We need sponsors. Um, so if you have a food booth or you want to do a game booth, anything like that, let us Fun. know. We'll, we'll get you in there. But we're going to have all sorts of activities. We're going to have a mutt maze where they can go th the dogs can go through a maze. Um, and we're going to have Doggy Olympics and contests, beauty contests and different How kinds of fun. things. How fun. I love it. It was a, it was a, really, a, a really good time that we had. We did it year before last. We didn't quite get enough planning in after okay. the shelter opened last year to, to do both. Sure. So, but this year, we're um, hopefully it's going to be bigger and better. I love it. And look at little Tardis. Again, just <laughs> loving on you, Kelly. Yes. Get on over there. Adopt him. Play with some of the dogs over there. They can you definitely get out there and stretch their legs and... Always donations are accepted over there at the Best Friends Humane Society. And we'll be back with more good day. Stick around.